What's going on y'all, it's Hellfire with MachineMasters.com and MPC 1.9.3 finally hit the streets and everybody's talking about the new audio and MIDI drag and drop. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so here you can see I got my beat loaded up and uh, I did this completely with the Shroom Malicious drums and instruments available on MachineMasters.com. So make sure you check that out. Okay, so that's my beat. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice when you first come into 1.9.3 is you have two new buttons here. These buttons are for your new audio and MIDI drag and drop. So the first one that looks like a little waveform is gonna be your audio drag and drop, and then the one that looks like little blocks or, or MIDI notes is gonna be your MIDI drag and drop. Now, to control these functions, there's a couple preferences that you can set up to tailor the way these two buttons work for your workflow. So let's go into the preferences here. And then we're gonna go down to drag and drop. And then you're gonna see uh, you got a lot of different options here. Um, now the first one is gonna be include program volume pan settings. I always include that because I want it to sound exactly how it sounds the way I made it. Bypass program effects if you want you know your plugins to be included or not, you just check that box. And then here it sets a tail, how long you want it to play after the end of your audio or MIDI. I usually just leave it um, defaulted to one, and this is in seconds, even though it's not labeled. So this will be one second. And then here you have, for your audio export, you have three different options. You have track, which is gonna export the audio of the currently selected track. Then you have program, which is gonna export the audio from the program that's on the currently selected track. And then you have your master, which is gonna export the entire beat as it goes through the master channel. Okay, so that's that. I'll leave it on track. These will be your defaults, by the way. Uh, they'll both be set to track. So the MIDI, you have two options. You have track and you have sequence. Track is just basically gonna export the MIDI notes for your currently selected track. And sequence is gonna export the MIDI for all the tracks. We'll just leave them both on track for now. And then let me show you what these two things can do. So, so the way it works is basically all you have to do is just click one of the buttons and it's gonna render into uh, the sample or the MIDI pool. So I just click this and right now it's exporting this first track and right now I'm, I let go of the mouse but you can see the audio is loaded into the button now. One thing you can do is I can drag this right to a pad on my currently selected track or any other track and if I hit the pad it plays now you're just gonna have to be careful with this because if you have a master tune setting like I have on this this is gonna tune the new sample in addition to what it was already tuned so just keep in mind what your program settings are because the new sample is gonna follow that okay so the other thing we can do is we can export the MIDI and now you can see the MIDI is loaded up so if I just tap this or if I try to drag it into the project it's gonna give me an option of what sequence I want to put it on. So let's say I just put it on sequence three, which is my next available sequence. Press do it. And then I go over to sequence three. You can see the notes are now there. Okay, so likewise, if I want to drag and drop this into my DAW, I can do that as well. I'll load it back up again into the sample pool. So I'm just going to drag it, I'm going to switch my application to Pro Tools and just drop it right in there. So when I play it back in Pro Tools, I get the audio from that track, okay? And the same thing with the MIDI, drag it, go back to Pro Tools, drop it right in there, um, Pro Tools is going to give you these options here um, and it's gonna ask you what type of track you want to put it on so you can put it on either an instrument track or you can put it on the MIDI track really doesn't matter depends on how you want to use it in Pro Tools you can also import the tempo and you can um, import the uh, key signature uh, so we'll just go ahead and press OK and you can see now those MIDI notes are in Pro Tools 
and that's just for the track by the way also what you can do is if I want to export this to machine I can drag and drop this right into machine and just drop it right into the piano roll now when you drag and drop into machine you're gonna want you're gonna want to make sure that you have your pad on the piano roll mode so the notes don't get spread out over the individual pads instead of being played out inside the single pad like it is here so just keep that in mind now if I want to drag the audio into machine I just drop it right on the pad if I trigger the pad there you have it okay so let's change our preferences we'll just skip the program for now and uh, we'll just put this on master drag this right into Pro Tools again okay so now when I play this track back in Pro Tools you'll hear the entire beat and the same thing if I drag it to a padding machine drop it right there tap the pad So let's change the uh, drag and drop MIDI export to sequence. Drop this right in Pro Tools again. And it brings up the options again. What types of track I want to put it on. I'm just going to leave it on uh, instrument track. And I'm going to press OK. You can do the tempo if you want. And you can see all my MPC tracks go to individual MIDI or instrument tracks in Pro Tools. Now this one doesn't really work well in Machine because you're limited to only 16 pads in the group. So, And additionally, you can also drag and drop the audio in MIDI directly to your desktop and then into your DAW or just to save it for later use. You might be wondering what you would use this drag and drop uh, MIDI into your DAW for. Well, you might wanna, you might wanna load up your uh, VST instruments in your DAW and tweak them inside there, or you might wanna change to different instruments that might only be available in Pro Tools or that might only be available in Logic or whatever other DAW you use that you know may not have a plugin that's accessible inside MPC. Or you might want to um, do this just to sell the MIDI, you know, in your sample packs or whatever. You know, it's a lot of different uses you can get out of exporting your uh, your, your MIDI to your DAW. So you know, a lot of I know a lot of people have been asking for this feature. It's finally here. And I think it has a lot more flexibility and a lot more options than what's available in the competition. So, you know, drop your questions and uh, hit the like, rate, comment, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. All right. Peace.